Question 21. The list shows some processes that happen in the human body. Which of these require energy released by respiration? So you need energy for muscle contraction. And energy for protein synthesis. You need energy for cell division. Active transport. Passage of nerve impulses and also the maintenance of body temperature of constant so back to the question we do not need energy for water to enter cell by osmosis we need energy for muscle to muscle for muscle to contract we need energy impulse to travel along neuron we don't need energy for diffusion into cell diffusion and osmosis they are both passive transport they don't require energy doesn't require energy so the answer will be 2 and 3 which is C Next question, the table shows the composition of blood entering and leaving the liver and the kidneys. Which row is correct? Your liver it is responsible to convert um, excess amino acids to urea. It is, the process is like known as deamination. While your kidney is responsible to remove urea from blood. So we have the highest concentration of urea entering the kidney. Yes, entering the kidney and lowest concentration entering liver. So the answer for question 22 would be B. Because initially it is converted to urea at your liver. So initially it is amino acid. Next question, which is the correct sequence of structures through which a nerve impulse passes in the reflex arc. Receptor is the one that detect and sends the stimuli and I'll pass it to sensory and answer is D. The effector would then carry out the action. Next question the diagram shows an eye. Which labored part contains cells that are sensitive to light? This is talking about retina contains cells that are sensitive to light. D would be a retina. So retina they actually contains like receptors in which I some are sensitive to like of different colours. C is your um your optic nerve. It carries your impulse to brain. Then A A is your cornea. What cornea does is that it refracts light. So the answer will be D. Next question. When hormones are secreted, they affect different parts of the body. The table shows some features that are affected by four different hormones. Which hormones is adrenaline? Adrenaline is known to like trigger fight or flight. So you in the adrenaline would increase the pulse rate, would increase blood glucose concentration, would increase your pupil size. It doesn't affect menstrual cycle, it doesn't affect sperm production. So the answer would be C. Adrenaline. Next question. When the environment is hot, how do the arterioles in the skin and hair erector muscles react? When the environment is hot, vessel dilation will occur, which means like your artery would widen, so it would dilate. And your hair erector muscle would relax. 
hands like that insulate so when your hair erector relax, the hair will lie flat insul- and hence like insulating the layer of air trapped above skin and then they will like increase and then hence it will also like increase the heat loss when the environment is hot your sweat glands would also secrete sweat and then like the water would evaporate so the answer for question 26 is A next question the diagram shows one parent hydra growing and releasing an offspring from the side of its body. Which rule is correct? Since this one only involves one parent, it would be asexual reproduction. One of the differences between sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction is that sexual reproduction involves two parents, while asexual only requires one parent. And answer would be A. In asexual reproduction, there is no fusion of gametes. The offspring would be the cl- like the clone of the parent. They will be genetically identical. Next question, which will describe self pollination. Self pollination is like the transfer of pollen grain from enter to the stigma of the same flower or different flower. On the same plant. So same flower, different flower, same plant. Can't be different plant. The answer be B. Cross pollination is like the transfer of pollen grain from the enter to the stigma of a flower on the different plant. Same species. Next question: Which feature is only found in the middle gamut? That will be a chromosome. A chromosome. They contain enzyme. Your egg cell have jelly coat. So yeah, the answer will be A. To know the structure. Next question, the graph shows how the mass of DNA changes during a mitotic cell division. Where on the graph are two cells from? The answer would be D. As you can see at D, the mass of DNA halved. What, ha- what happens at A and A, your cell looks something like this. Then at B, it looks something like this. Like DNA replication occurs. Oh, I'm sorry, it is C, not B. At C, looks something like this. Then at D, the cell would split, divides into two. So I answer with D. Next question What happens during meiosis? Meiosis is from like diploid to haploid. Right. Yes. So the answer for quite un- the answer for question twenty one would be B. You can't divide a haploid cell to diploid. And A. Mm. Next question: Red green color blindness is a condition that occurs more frequently in men than in women. Which statement about this condition is correct? The answer would be B. The reason why it occurs more frequently in men than in women is like it is carried on an X chromosome, not Y. Like female women have XX while men has XY. So male only have to inherit the the color blindness on one of their chromosome. While women have to inherit on both chromosome to have the condition. And hence the chances are higher. The probability is higher in men. Next question, which statement explains why the allele for sickle cell anemia is commonly found in human populations in certain parts of the world? Like those with HBS, those who are heterozygous would survive, right? Like because those with this one they may die from malaria 
those who are have sickle cell anemia and they will die from sickle cell maybe they will die from sickle cell anemia while these they will survive they were sur- most likely to survive and reproduce and pass on the allele to offspring hence at some countries where it's topi- tropical tropical countries this will be commonly found the answer would be B right it protects people against malaria next question the development of antibiotic resistance in bacteria is an example of which process it is natural selection antibiotic resistance occurs due to environmental pressure it occurs naturally it's not caused by yeah it's not caused by human i mean yes it is natural selection next question the diagram contains information about the number and mass of organisms in a food web what is the total biomass of all the primary consumers in this food web first of all we have to identify which is the primary consumer this is your primary this is the producer this is the third third, i mean secondary so we multiply do some mats the squirrel 400 gram 20 then you will get this one but it is in gram but the answer is in kilogram so we have to convert to kilogram then one kg equals to 1000 gram Next question, the diagram shows some of the stages in the nitrogen cycle, which arrow represents the process of nitrogen fixation. D would be denitrification. Like nitrogen is converted to nitrates. B is the decomposition of plant to ammonium ions or C- E is feeding the answer will be A nitrogen fixation nitrogen nitrogen f- this is by lightning nitrogen fixation either like lightning or bacteria right next question which term is used to describe the fastest phase of growth in the population of bacteria? That would be your lag phase. Huh? I mean your exponential phase. Then the graph looks something like this, right? Like this. Uh, like this is your log. This is your lag. This is your ex. This is your stationary. This is the death phase and your exponential phase the birth rate is greater than the death rate and lag phase it is still adapting at exponential you already start reproducing sigmoid is like the shape of the curve Stationary, yeah, stationary, there's no change. Next question, which are reasons why bacteria are often used in biotechnology? The reason why bacteria is used in technology is because there's like a lack of ethical concerns over their manipulation and their growth and also because the genetic code is shared with all other organisms like we wouldn't have like the 
allergic response and also have plasmid so the answer will be 1 and 2 yes not be 3 we have no nucleus in DNA no nucleus I mean, not, no, no, not, not no nucleus in DNA. Bacteria doesn't have nucleus. Bacteria is a prokaryote. It doesn't contain nucleus. Doesn't contain. So the answer would be B, I mean A, 1 and 2. Next question. Penicillin is produced in a fermenter by growing the fungus penicillium. The graph shows how the mass of living penicillin fungus and the concentration of penicillin changed over time. When is the best time to collect the penicillin? It would be when the concentration of penicillin is the highest, which is at 5, right? Day 5. 